The Splatoon games have had a wide amount of stages to choose from. Each one has its own identity that keeps them from feeling bland, generic, or repetitive. With Splatoon 3 releasing later this year, I decided to make a list of stage ideas that I would like to see happen. Just a quick disclaimer to everyone, but do keep in mind that some of these entries may not happen due to how crazy they sound. Also, this video was inspired by Pixel Squid's video on the subject matter. Definitely check it out along with his channel. With all that said, let us begin. Casino levels in video games are awesome. The bright neon lights along with the slot machines, roulette wheels, playing cards, and dice aesthetics make these stand out from the rest. Splatoon 3 should encompass this concept and introduce a casino inspired stage. There are a ton of unique gameplay mechanics that can be used to keep it fun and interesting. Some ideas I had in mind are a giant rotating roulette wheel in the middle of the map, platforms made from stacked poker chips, and pinball bumpers for bouncing. Having the map take place at nighttime would be the final touch. Nintendo, please make this happen. Creepy, horrifying content is something that the Splatoon series is pretty well known for. That is why I suggest we get a map based on an abandoned pizzeria. If FNAF immediately popped up in your head, I don't blame you. Just like the first idea, this would all happen at nighttime. Rundown animatronics will be present, occasionally roaming around in secret. The security cameras will keep track of your movements, with party rooms being explorable areas. Throw in hidden secrets along with a jump scare, and you got yourself a good, spooky map worth playing. <laughs> Splatoon 3 should introduce an old western inspired town as a map. Multiple pathways would be present with wooden buildings serving as barriers. Sand and cactuses would be everywhere while the sun continues to set. Just like the classic western films, a straight opening is available on both sides allowing each team to determine who is really the fastest and most skilled. I can see this idea becoming a reality since Splatoon 3 will be taking place in the Splatlands, you know, a place known for being the heart of chaos. With the first trailer showing off a brand new map located in sandy terrain, all of this helps boost the chances of the old western idea actually becoming a reality. A digital cybernetic themed map is yet another idea that I want to see in Splatoon 3. The general look can resemble areas from the Mega Man X, Zero, and Star Force games. More specifically, Cyber Peacock's level from X4, the final level from X5, the teleporter circuit from Zero 4, and the meteor server from Star Force 3. We could have disintegrating platforms upon landing on them, glowing ink with the digital aura around it, and more. To take things even further, this map can be linked to Team Order, considering that their headgear fits perfectly with the idea. Assuming Splatoon 3 is heading in the direction I believe it is, then this concept can happen. For the final entry, I've chosen to include Antarctic base map. Wait, before you ask, I am aware we will probably be getting one due to gameplay from the second trailer. However, I want to discuss my take on the matter. So icy water would be everywhere with glacier pieces serving as platforms. Sunset colors are present in the sky, while the remaining ground is covered by snow and ice. To add a bit more flair to the map, snowflakes will fall throughout each match, just like how it did in Inkopolis during the Frosty Fest. Seeing this map idea actually happen is extremely high and definitely needs to be in Splatoon 3. That concludes the list. Let me know what maps you would like to see in the comment section below. As always, take care everyone.